everyone, welcome back to my channel, Carmine from New York Talks Photography. Oh, what is this? We're going to learn all about how much fun artistic photography can be with a piece of plastic. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Carmine from New York on this August 22nd, 2022 morning. It's pouring here in New York, which means we're gonna do an indoor, in-depth review from a product made by the Great Wall Plastic Company in Hong Kong back in the 60s. This is the Diana. This is my original Diana that I bought. Well, I was given a quarter from my parents at a yard sale or a tag sale, whatever you guys call it where you are, to get this used camera in 1968. It was 25 cents. And this is it. This is the culprit that started this whole Megilla. This is what started my photographic journey. This original Diana. This isn't the new fancy Diana F that sells for $90 on B&H Photo. No, 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 no. This is the original 1960 Diana 120 film camera. Medium format, which will give you the most artistic photographs and it will give you the most aggravation that you can imagine. Why do I say aggravation? Well, you know, I'm going to show you examples. Okay, so let's open the glassine envelope from, this is how I store my negatives, by the way, in glassine envelopes, not plastic sleeves. Okay. Let's look at some aggravation. This is what aggravation looks like. Those are light leaks that pours into the back sides of the Diana. Those are light leaks on this 120 film negative. These are 42 by 42 millimeter square images. Let me just show you. Light leak from in here, check. <laughs> Light leak from the top where the back goes on, check. Light leak from the sides, check. Light leak from the bottom, check. So. The back simply comes off by undoing the latch and sliding it off. And this is your 42 millimeter by 42 millimeter square image. It has one shutter speed. It's about a 60th of a second. Let's see if you guys can see it. Okay. Um, Next, it has three choices of focus, 12 to infinity, All right? You turn this knob on the front, then you have the next choice is six to 12 feet. And third choice is four to six feet. Okay, so that's your focus, which is your guessing. One shutter speed, about a 60th of a second. And each time you click it, it's probably different because it's just a spring. Take up spool. So what about the F-stops? Well, the F-stops are symbols, okay? The cloudy symbol is approximately F11. So it's wide open. The partial sun symbol, that's about F13. And full sun is about F19. So you'll have to judge 
for yourself. It's all guessing, okay? It does give you on the top instant, which is 1 60th of a second, or a bulb mode. Okay? So you could do bulb, you could do some fancy stuff at night with bulb mode. Let's talk about the aperture settings for a moment. Okay. So, how does the aperture work? Are they aperture blades? Nope. <laughs> Are they some kind of sh uh, curtain, shutter curtain? Nope. It's a disc of metal with a hole drilled through it. Okay. So, let's look at f11 okay that's f11 when you turn the little uh symbol on the bottom right watch it's just a piece of metal with a hole in it that you have to really center if you don't center it your picture will be all off center and vignetted that's what f13 looks like and you click it again and that's what f19 looks like it's just a a piece of metal like a washer right f19 turn it that's about f so when we went from f19 to f13 this is f13 and wide open at f11 okay the lens is all plastic but you know I'm going to show you examples in just a few seconds of what this camera can do. So, you take your film, you load it on this side, you close it, you take your take-up spool, you put it on this side, you close it, you have to get it on the little T so it can wind. Okay. Come on, you plastic guy. Okay. Done. Let's center it. Oh, this is fun. Imagine doing this out in the field in Manhattan. Ah! Okay. So, nice and closed, right? That's the sound of technology <laughs> okay so your film is loaded right it goes across right look at all these beautiful holes to let light in oh it's amazing okay then you take your back okay and it has grooves okay you just line it up on the grooves and you close it and i put it L and an O to, to remind me which is the lock and which is the open. Okay. Then your film is loaded. You must use gaffer's tape. Don't use black tape, black electrical tape. No, no, no. It'll leave glue everywhere. Okay. Use gaffer's tape. You take gaffer's tape, just a few, just a few inches at a time. Easy to rip. And it's easy to remove okay and what i do is i start at the top covering where the seam was okay make it nice and tight and you do this all the way around the camera i won't do the whole camera i'll just show you a little okay and you would have to do the sides same thing with the sides right you put tape all on the sides now as you know 120 film the paper backing shows you the numbers when to stop winding this is a main source of light leaks right here but you also need to see the number on the paper so just temporarily right what i do is i put it over the hole i take one end I fold it over so it doesn't stick like this. All right, so it doesn't stick. And then I take the picture 
And as I'm winding slowly, as soon as it gets to the right number, boom, cover that right up. Okay? So, if you don't do this, you will get this. These light leaks. This negative is from this very camera without using any gaffer's tape. You must use gaffer's tape. Okay. Uh, let's see. A lot of uh, guys out there, including me, wanted to try Lomography. Okay. So I dug this camera out knowing that this plastic lens, this plastic camera would give soft focus impressionistic photographs on this toy camera. Okay. Uh, this is a very interesting way to once you once you guys have a grip on film photography this is a great accessory to use just to take photographs for art's sake okay you're not going to use this camera to photograph anything important this is for having fun to try it okay in fact talk about trying it there's a professional photographer. Her name is Nancy Rex Roth. Rex Roth, R-E-X-R-O-T-H. She has a website, nancyrexroth.com, professional photographer, who produced a book called Iowa. And in this book, it's a photographic essay. And in it, she photographed exclusively with the Diana camera. I did print out, now remember, it's copyrighted, right? Just show you briefly. This is one of the images from the book. This is the kind of images you get. This is from a professional photographer, Nancy Rexworth. This is one photograph that you'll see on her website. Okay, it's absolutely beautiful. What I like to say when I show people this photograph from Nancy Rexworth is the camera turns anything you photograph into an impressionistic painting. And you really, nobody just looks at these and turns the page and turns the page quickly. You really like study it because of the vignetting and the out of focus areas and the, um, dreamlike qualities that it has it's amazing so that's nancy rexworth i ordered i just ordered her book it should be coming in a few days i can't wait so now i know you guys are saying you know carmine i don't really do 120 film <clears throat> because i'm all set up to shoot and develop and print 35 millimeter film Fear not, oh fellow colleague photographer. The Diana Mini is here to save the day. Very similar to the 120 film camera, Diana. The Diana Mini is a 35 millimeter Diana camera with exactly the same plastic lens. Okay, you open the back. You load your film under this gate. Okay. Film goes on this side. Here's your take up spool. Then you close the pressure plate. Okay. And then you put your back on. And then you lock it. Okay. And then you spend about four minutes taping up the whole thing. Because if you don't tape these seams, you're going to be right in the same boat with these light leaks. Diana film cameras are absolutely light leaking cameras. However, they produce some of the most beautiful artistic 
imagery, imagery, image, Im, images, <laughs> images you'll ever see. So, uh, you can get the original Diana, right, for about thirty dollars. Of course, used. They're not made. These are not the original Diana's. Not made new anymore. You can get these for about thirty dollars. Don't pay more. Don't pay one penny more than thirty bucks on eBay. I just looked now. There's plenty, plenty that say tested. This is how they test it. Okay, it works. All right. Don't spend more than thirty bucks. Okay. This is the one without. There was a, a newer model that had two two holes here for a flash. You don't need any of that. Okay. Two holes for a flash. The Diana Mini, right? I didn't do this. <laughs> this is just some artistic person that did it uh, when I bought it. I bought this used as well. Okay. And pretty cool. Pretty cool Diana Mini lens cap for the 35 millimeter Diana. Pretty cool. So. Um, I showed you the film. I showed you a professional photographer's book. She published a book, Nancy Rexroth. Rex Roth. She published a book solely. Um, her images were solely taken with the Diana. Okay, the original Diana. So what I'm going to show you now is a prog I don't know, it's a couple of photographs that I took with the Diana medium format. And then I'll show you right behind it a few photographs that I took with the Diana Mini 35 millimeter camera. I will tell you up front, the photos taken with the medium format Diana are much better than the 35 millimeter Diana Mini. So that's just my opinion. Don't forget, these are plastic lenses pumped out of a plastic, melted plastic machine, you know? And each one, each lens is different. You decide. You decide what you like better. I'm going to show you now, okay? The Diana 120 pictures that I just took in Manhattan. And Diana Mini 35 millimeter pictures also from Manhattan. Okay, so let's look at the photographs now. Have a great day. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and email me about anything photography. Black and white photo at AOL.com. Yep, AOL, they're still around. All right, guys, have a great day. The summer is almost over. It's August 22nd. Get out. Take a picture. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, let's look at those photographs right now.